Alright, I'm back again, but not uh, with a painting video, but more with a uh, answer to a question that everyone has, and that is, what is the best 40k army? The simple answer to that is, there aren't any. Wow, you didn't see that one coming, did you? Well, people ask it, and they need an answer, right? So what do I got here? Space Marines, we got Orcs, and we have Eldar. Alright, these are just the models that I uh, have around. I don't have any other armies with me, or at all. So, we're going to go over a few of the things here. One is, uh, when you're looking for an army, is what kind of army suits you best? What will you relate to? Right? For the Space Marines, they have that uh, protect the God Emperor kind of sense. The sense of we'll never fall back in the sense of we have power, armor, and faith to protect us. Few in numbers, but elite. So you'll have a smaller type of army, but uh, a more elite type of army. So you have to be careful of how you place them and where you place them. Orcs, on the other hand, are great in close combat. Great in close combat. And they have numbers. Plus, uh, you have the awesome ability to convert your own vehicles. This is my battle wagon that I completed out of a uh, um, Lehman Russ kit. As you can see right here, just bought some bits online. These are all work bits, I guess, from uh, Fantasy as well. These tusks and these spikes are just, I mean, from the orchid, tons of spikes. You can get spikes, blah, 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 kits, etc., etc. So they have really great conversion options, but every army has great conversion armies. Uh, uh, parts and bits that you can do. Um, uh, for this one, I did a lot of battle damage. And you can see right here with the uh, Space Marines, I did a little bit more of a crisp kind of idea, a little away from the uh, orc uh, grunginess. So the orcs have a lot of numbers too. Not very good at shooting, but uh, they have the numbers to take the hits, and once they get in the combat, they'll tear you up. Um, so that's kind of what the uh, orcs do uh, against the space marine. Okay, and this is my uh, girlfriend's Eldar. Right, this is uh, one of her guardians. This is her uh, wraith lord in process with the uh, gems here and the base that you probably saw with the uh, space marine head. But the Eldar are really quick, great in close combat, but again, they're very fragile. So you have to be careful where you place them in the in the long run. But they do have uh, a lot of special rules that let them get away really quickly with the high initiative. Um, plus, their their walkers um, aren't really considered to be uh, mechanical, so they have wounds. Um, so against the uh, grungy vehicles and the machine gods. Um, which uh, are kind of a little bit more fragile. They do have armor value, which is a little tougher to pierce, and you do have a chance to keep them moving if you roll on the chart with the extra armor, etc. Um, they do um, are a little bit more fragile in that regard, with the uh, Wraith Lords being able to uh, soak a little bit more damage before going down. Um, though they do have a, little, uh, a few special rules where they have to be near a Psyker to keep continuing or they kind of shut down a little bit. Um, they're quick, they shoot a lot, and they're really accurate. So, that's another contrast against some of these armies right here that we have in front of you, the Orcs and the Space Marines. Alright, so those are just three of the armies right now. Um, but again, it's just totally up to what your play style is. Do you want the massive hordes, you know, swarming your enemies, and the whole idea behind you go first and die for me. Or the Space Marines, where every man counts and you stand, stand, stand your line. Or the Eldar, which are quick and shoot you and run away and kill all you guys from the shadows in the woods. We also have Tyranids, too, that uh, are almost like orcs. Um, they don't shoot a lot, but they do have a lot of awesome models that they just come out came out with. The Moloch, which is like double the size of anything that they have in uh, the whole Games Workshop lineup. Awesome, epic models. 
claws, spikes. Then you have Chaos, which are like the Space Marines, except they don't have the same kind of rules, but they do have awesome models as well. Um, they're taint and scary and tough, and you know it takes a lot to kill them. And they're very elite too. So if you like that kind of army too, go for it. Again, what's the best army in 40k? There really isn't any. It's really how you want to play and how you'll feel in the battle. Even if you lose, you want to feel like you know you're with your army. You know you have the whole idea behind the army. And even if you lose, you can kind of fight another day because you have that army specifically geared towards you. And you know what? You win, yep, and you lose. You'll always lose and you'll always win. It's just a game, so have fun.